Okay, family, uh, I'm here with uh, one African lady from Zimbabwe, and we're going to have a chat. This is just a normal conversation. I once had a chat with um, her friend, and she came through to share her also story about her life. And uh, what's her name? Amanda Yolanda. Amanda Yolanda. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of Yolanda? <sighs> No, but it's a French name. Ah, it's a French name. Mm -hmm. It's a French name. I have you have a, a family from from France. No, it's uh, my late mom, my mom's sister. Yeah, she's the one who gave me the name. So how has life been treating you so far? We thank God. We thank God. Mm -hmm. How? Because we're surviving. We're good. I'm okay. I thank God. Because I've seen a lot of ladies, let's say in Ghana. Okay, I'll use Ghana for, uh, for this example. I saw one woman carrying three uh, children. One at the back, one here, and then one like this. Mm -hmm. And then I asked this woman, uh, do you have a husband? And she said no. And I said, how do you cope with this? How do you feed them? I said, God is in control. So I want to know, how do you go control? I mean, I'm not that woman who has got the child <laughs> in the back. <laughs> Listen, Nina, listen. Nina, I, I, I'm, I'm, not, ask, I'm asking you a very intelligent question here, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I understand, but I'm yeah, not that so, woman. When I say I thank God, okay. I thank God for, for survivor. Mm -hmm. In whatever I'm doing, God is always providing okay. for me. And if I'm that woman, mm -hmm. I was not going to take a second child, a third, a, child, a third child, and a fourth child, mm -hmm. because of the first one gave me hell and put me in hell. So she loved that thing. So well, how, how will you know? Maybe she gave birth to quadruple. Maybe quadruple. No, yeah, when you saw those children, they were, they were those <laughs> quadruple, the way you are saying. Anyway, so what's your official language in Zimbabwe? Sindebele. Sindebele. Mendebele from Blawayo. No, no, no. You, you said a lot of things here. What is the official language in Zimbabwe? Sindebele. Sindebele. That is the official language. Mm -hmm. For me. Ah, for you? Yeah. How many tribes do you have in Zimbabwe? Mm -hmm. We have... Uh, the people that they... People they know only two. Mm -hmm. But we have even the South Africans one. They know Ndebele and Shona. They are the popular one. But we have Sutus in Zim. We have Tosas from Gwanda. And... Uh, yeah. Mm. Venda, sorry, from Bay Bridge. We have Venda from Bay Bridge, Debele from Blawayo, Shona from Harare, uh, Sutu in Gwanda, yeah, and Kosa again, inside, inside Gwanda. Mm, okay. Yeah. How long have you been in South Africa? Since 2013. 2018? 13. 13? Mm -hmm. mm, and what do you do for a living? Mm -hmm. I'm a self-employed lady. I'm self-employed. Mm. Okay. So you're making money, yeah? Oh, I don't have money. As I told you, I, I thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you said you're a self-employed lady. <laughs> okay, so what do you do? Self-employed. It entails a lot of things. You sell engines. You sell cars. You sell uh, what? What exactly do you do? Maybe, maybe somebody's watching and needs some of your products. I don't know. And they will need some. They, they know. They may know my product. They may know your product. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I'm a beauty chef. I'm a beauty okay. chef. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I scrap nails, uh, legs. Mm -hmm. I do nails, pedicure, manicure, buff and shine, massage, all those things. Oh, okay, so you are into beauty practitioner. Mm -hmm. Okay, beauty practitioner. Yes, I'm a beauty chef. A beauty chef? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see, I see. Mm. So, since you've been in South Africa from 2013 to date, what are the struggles? You know, life is giving you up, down, up and down, up and down. Yeah, there are too much challenges. Sometimes life is good, it's flowing well, sometimes... But before you continue, let me cut in some more. Uh, are you here with your family? Or my, family uh, my family, they are here. I have a family, I have a son, he's nine years. Mm -hmm. They are here? They are here. I have, uh, my father passed away. I have a son? Nine years? Mm -hmm. Okay. So my what happened to the father? His father. Mm -hmm. 
We separated in ah, 2015. Okay. What happened? It's a long story. Okay, you cut it short. Mm. <laughs> no, I, I was pregnant when I was, I gave birth when I was 19, mm -hmm. so after that, when I gave birth, 20, I gave birth 2015, mm -hmm. 2016, I, I told myself like, mm, I'm not supposed to be in this marriage thing. I think I have a life to live. But you were not married. You were just, you were just having. You were just a he baby. Pay, he paid. He or paid. He paid cows for me and the baby. Okay. I was staying with him in Baybridge, mm -hmm. but after I gave birth, I told myself like, mm -mm, I'm not supposed to be there. So if your husband or your baby father is watching now. Mm -hmm. What is he going to think in the mind? Because you said you did nothing. Just feel like, oh, I don't want to be in this relationship. Maybe you did something. I was young. I didn't think well. I was a teenager. So you did nothing wrong. Nothing happened. You just feel like, you feel like, okay, I'm not going <laughs> to... <laughs> what happened? No. I just, I, know, I just want to know what happened. Because maybe your baby father might be watching. And then you put a comment in the comment section down no, below. No, nothing. I just told... Okay, I told my, my mother-in-law, uh, my mom wants to see the child in SA. Okay, so you got, preg uh, you got pregnant in, in Zim, Zim and got, uh, give birth in, in Zim. Zim and then you left Zim and to come South. with the baby. Okay. Yeah. So, so they thought I'm coming here just for a month. Mm -hmm. when, I reached the, he, when I reached here, I told my family, mm, me, I'm not going back there. They begged me, like, what happened? So, what made you change your mind to stay in South Africa? Because I thought, I, I felt like I still have Future. achieved my dreams. like. Um, okay, so as we speak now young. with um, with um, my friend here, her name is um, I cannot pronounce this one. Amanda. Trust me. Huh? Amanda. You will Amanda. Know. Okay. As I was speaking with Amanda, as we speak now, you came to South Africa to achieve your goal or your aim. So now she I has achieved. I didn't come yeah? to South Africa to achieve my goal. I left my marriage because. I was young. Uh -huh. I was 19 years, uh -huh. and you wanted I, to enjoy life. Not enjoy. I wanted to experience things. Like I'm young. What kind of things do you want to experience? The one that I have experienced. I can get married now. I'm fine. Wait. <laughs> 19. You 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 think you had to experience life? Yes, because okay, I so finished school when I was 17. Then I dated this guy. Two years only, I fell pregnant. I didn't enjoy my teenager life. I didn't so enjoy after, my after, new after life. So after giving birth, you wanted to experience life. Not marriage, life. But life as youth life. Yes. Okay, so you did something. Maybe you cheated, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you a question. I didn't cheat. No, no, because you said you wanted to enjoy life as a youth life, you know? So maybe you cheated during the life. You know? Maybe. No, no, no. The what? father is dead, right? Yeah, my father passed away when I was here. So I okay. Was so, 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 so when I was talking to you before we come on set, you said, I swear by my, father, my father's grave, I did this, you know? So it means when you swear by your, your father's grave, you did this, it means mm -hmm. you are real. Mm -hmm. So you swear by your father's grave, you do not cheat, yeah? I, I did cheat. You cheat, okay. So what happened? I cheated. How? But my, my baby did um, forgive me because I cheated before pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I fell pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he forgave me. He continued paying the cows, whatever. But I'm the one who betrayed him after he, he forgave so, so me. So before you cheated, you were with your baby daddy. Before you cheated, what did you want to experience that made you cheated? I don't know. I think it was just a peer pressure. Ah, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, from the village or from where you came from? Because I cheated around where he was staying. What? Around the town where he, he was staying, where he was staying. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> and the guy I cheated with, he was on divorce. He lose many things because he even come and beg me because the marriage that they were having with the wife is for when you cheat, you come out with nothing, something like that. Ah, so you even broke home? They were separated, they were on divorce. Okay. So that woman, my baby daddy came and find me with that person, with the ex-wife of the late guy. So the lady was begging me, please come and confess in the court for me. 
Mm. The guy was begging me again, please don't confess in the court for me. Oh, so you were in the middle? Of them. So that thing made me leave. Okay, Zim. so after cheating your, on your baby daddy, you came to uh, South Africa. After I gave birth. After I gave no way, wait a minute. You gave birth and then you cheated, right? I cheated before I was pregnant. Before I was pregnant. Oh, you cheated before then you after were I, pregnant. Yeah, I was not pregnant when I cheated. After you forgive me, something like a month. Then you get pregnant. I was pregnant. I think DNA is important here. No, he did. That's he, why he. He did DNA. Yeah. Ah, okay. Then it's confirmed. So now you you got into South Africa. Hmm. You wanted to come see what goes on in your life in South Africa. I called my mom. I told my mom I'm not happy in the marriage and I'm not ready to be this. I don't know what was happening So you were me. married? Please, yes. I called my mom. I told my mom, please, No, mom. wait, wait. Confirm first. You were married? I was. So now you're divorced? I can say that. Huh? I can say that. You can't say or you can say that? I was paid lobola mm -hmm. for me and my son. Okay, at what age? When I was 19. Okay, so now are you divorced or you are married? I'm not with the guy. I told them I don't want I'm to. I'm not talking about any guy. I'm talking about marriage. I'm not with the guy. That's it. I told him on the phone I'm not coming back. As I speak I to you, you. As I speak to you now, okay? Okay, the guy is wait, waiting wait, for wait, me. Wait, wait, I'm wait, not wait, wait, wait. As I'm speaking to you now, I'm not with my wife. But I'm not divorced. So I'm asking you a direct question. Are you with the guy or you are divorced? I'm not with the guy. And you are not divorced? I was not that white, having a white... Uh, but the Lobora in our, our traditional thing means you belong to me. Yeah? I was belonging to him that time, not now. Oh, so, okay. So and I did not take back whatever they remove in my family. You did not take back? No. So it's with you? Yes, I eat it. So you we are... eat it. We finish it. <laughs> it's gone. And me now my baby dead. I'm not so, going to lie. No, Until no, today no. he is not married. He's still telling me that he's waiting for me. Okay, so I've so you see, with my life. this is the problem I'm talking about. So now as I speak, you are a married woman. <laughs> Please don't say that. <laughs> you are a married woman. Please don't say that because of I am a man right now. I have he a man be, right uh, now. He might be watching this. I'm, I've, you I'm have a, a man right now? Yes, I'm in a serious relationship with someone else. Okay, from He's which country? He's in Nigeria, country? from Benin. From Nigeria? Mm -hmm. You said from Nigeria, from Benin. Yeah, from where? He, uh, he's a Nigerian. Mm -hmm. They're from Benin State, Edo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you keep okay. on saying I'm married now, you're like, ah, so I'm taking somebody's wife. Me and my baby daddy were not together anymore. But you've not taken the Lobola How many years? Whatever. Wait, okay, how many years? 2016, now we were in 2024. Mm -hmm. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 20, 24. Eight good years. I've never seen this guy like this. But, but he never told you to go to South Africa, right? He didn't. He was like, so you're coming back next month? I said, yes. Yeah, so he, this guy wanted to stay in Zim. But I don't want him. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't want this if guy... If I was single, if no, listen, tell you something... If, if you don't want this guy... Why did you take this low, low? I don't know. What do you call it? Lobola. Lobola. Why did I take it? Because that time I was in love. The love came out when I give birth. It went like fed away. Hmm. I think you need to pay this guy um, <laughs> his money and also I never. you need to if give this guy you need to give, give this guy um, a compensation. If if I was single and I still want more children. If I was singing, I was going to go back to Zim, tell my baby daddy I want another child because I'm single and I don't want my kids to have different same name. But now I'm with someone else. And that man loves my son and he takes care of my son as his own. My baby daddy calls me almost every day. I decline his call. Sometimes the best thing I can tell you, okay, as an African sister, okay, is to take whatever this guy brought to your family back to him. <laughs> Never. They didn't Never. Ask, they didn't ask for it. They didn't ask for it. They say they, they said our daughter in law will, she will come back when she's ready. So meaning this guy has to wait for you. He's waiting, but I'm I'm I've moved on. So if you hear this guy in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. okay, listening mm -hmm. to this podcast, mm -hmm. 
This guy is going to go mad. He no won't one. go mad. What the? Listen. So you're telling me that all those eight years, this guy has never been in a, in a relationship? He's an African. He is in a relationship, but Listen, he's an he African. doesn't want to pregnant or marry. That's it. He's an African, okay? And he has the right to marry more as an African. Women, you cannot marry like I have four husbands. It's not, it, doesn't seem, it, doesn't, it doesn't sound well. So he this guy, marry, so this marry, guy, he can marry listen. as much as he wants. No, no, listen. Like yeah, yeah. I'm so you are the first wife. Listen, as I speak, I am speaking in favor of that guy because you have not taken whatever he brought to your family to mm. him. They didn't ask for it. Did they collect it? They didn't ask for Did it. Did they collect it? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is a direct question. Did they collect it? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> Yes or no? They did. They did, right? I'm a man, so I'm speaking in favor of the man. Did they collect oh, so it? Oh, so now we are, we are speaking in the favor of a man. Yeah. Did they collect it? Yes or no? I mean, I didn't. Now we didn't ask them to come and fetch their things. Did your parents collect it? Yes. Yes. Okay. So now, as the customer demands, you are officially <laughs> married. <laughs> For him? For him. Unless you take whatever this guy brought. But they didn't back. ask it. So what must I do? I must just call them. My uncles must just call them and say, come and fetch your things. For then, almost eight years now. They know what to do. They should just go back there and submit them. Maybe the vendor tribe doesn't allow them to take back their lobola. So that's why so they you are not. You, you see, you want to be smart here. <laughs> you want to bring tribe inside. You want to be smart how many, here. How many times? This man, if he wanted his thing, he was supposed to call. I know he likes money. He likes because money. I know Ghanaians are watching and then we have the same culture, you know. If a man goes to a lady's house mm -hmm. to ask for a hand in marriage, even it's, I think it's in the law in Ghana, that if I date a woman in Ghana for six months, he's entitled to a lot of things, you know, in Ghana. So it's, it's, it's part of African culture. I feel like it's when, I don't know, but I'm just thinking of if, if those people that they are taking back the bride price is the one that they cheated, if your lady now cheated on you, or if, or if a lady said, I want a divorce, I don't want you, that's when they demand those things. Them, not me. Them. This guy did not demand anything for eight years for me. But who opened the legs for this guy? I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so listen. You... <laughs> you will never understand because now you have yourself in a situation and your guy is watching from uh, Onugo State or whatever. Okay. Hey, do. You uh, see now you make my husband to leave me, my boyfriend, because of. I <laughs> you say I'm, I'm still married. No. From what you're saying, it means and you're married. And now my son knows that. You know, the, 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 the funny part is my, daddy, daddy, my baby daddy has never been part of my son's life for almost nine years now. I've been taking care of my son from three months we left. Zim the best advice until I can today. give you. This is not even part of the conversation. So, this just, just, just so came, just came. That no, money, listen. the way that money you say that must take it back is the one that is taking care of that boy. That lobola, even if it's 200, whatever, is the one that is taking care of the child. So I cannot take it back, even if they demand it today. I'll be like, where, were you? where have you been for nine years? Now you want to bring law into this whole thing. I went to Zim. To do a, 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 a what is it, maintenance, mm -hmm. they told me that if the child is staying out of the country, there is no maintenance. He win. So let me win the cows. So you mean the guy lost? He lost him. A, a man that has got two balls cannot stand up and come from Messina to South Africa. Is how many minutes? How many hours? How much? Rand or rand? And you say, Amanda, please, I want to come and see my child. Me, I must be saying, taking pictures, sending to him. Let this adult man take care of the child. You grow up knowing that my daddy is a Nigerian. I don't give a fuck. Your dad is a Nigerian, okay. He's there for the son, so. And even if it takes like five million years, this child will look for the dad. I know. Let him grow up knowing for now. When he's 19 or when he's 18, when he knows what to do. That's when he will come and sit down with me. He will, be, he will reason well and say, Mom, please, tell me what happened. I'll explain every shit. Him. 
It's up to him. I'll even tell him the address where the father is, the grandmom from the family. Okay, so now Mrs. Uh, facial expression or facial beauty therapist, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you been involved in criminal records before? <laughs> yes, I did. I have. Okay, where? In Zim, in South Africa, where? In SA. Okay, what happened? Mm -hmm. Should we talk about it? Yeah, we want to know. You can also ask me anything you want to ask. It's fine. <laughs> ah, it's a long story. No, I can't talk about this. Okay, anyway, I was arrested for illegal things. For someone, he asked me to travel, but it was a, a tip. Travel to which country? Indonesia. Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it was a like it was a tip off, but. He tried his best to take me out. So. so where did you hide that stuff? Like really? Yeah. In the storybooks, in okay. the case, the frame, picture frames. Okay, so you were going with a, as a handle? Mm -hmm. I was carrying the bag, but so I was supposed to pass by Zim first because I went through Zim. Before, uh, before the, I even reached them, I was caught. So, so okay. because it was a tip off. I was supposed to be in Zim, FedEx, deliver the stuff, those were in the storybooks. So you got your stuff into all this because you wanted money? Yes. Okay, so now, how did the guy know you want money? Okay, the guy came to South Africa, he was newly 2021. From where? From Nigeria, but he was coming from Qatar. Mm. Then I dated the guy. Ah, okay, so... He was your boyfriend? Yeah, so the guy was like, I don't want you to be part of this thing. I said, no, please, I need money. He was like, okay, first thing you're going to do, you're going to be the one who's taking care of the ladies, the travelers for him, bring them in your house, monitor them, do these, do visa for them, all those things, then drop them in the airport. I was like, okay, cool. So the last thing, I want to do this last gig, please. Okay, so it means you were able to send some girls there. We used to. Mm. So you were into the business? Yes. Malawian girls, Mozambican, Tanzanian guys. So the last gig I was... So what were you transporting? Guns? No. Cooking? Yeah. Right. Okay. Different. Okay. Rock, Thai white, cat, everything. And the guy was from Nigeria? Yeah. So I was like, the last gig I needed, because it, it was paying like... $4,000. For a trip? For a trip. I said, I need it. He refused, he refused. I said, oh, so you don't love me. Uh, you're taking the money, giving some people, but listen to me. He said, but I'm giving you money. I said, mm -mm. He said, okay, cool. Take this. Go with this Malawi girl. Go together. So that if something happened. So, okay. On our way, we, I was even drinking in the taxi, inside the taxi. Chatting with my friends, telling them I'm coming to Zim, from Zim, I'm going where I'm going, please. You have to wait for me after Bay Bridge. Cool. I'm carrying the market. The funny part is, the market was not even in my bag, it was in my Lawin lady. You understand? So, when I'm doing this, I saw hawks just my side of the window, like, stop. If you don't stop, I'll shoot. After Pulukwan. The driver stopped, and I hear the driver like, what does these people need? What, what, what? So when they, they came in, it was a private car, a highlights, white highlights. They say everyone, they take the men, they make them hold the whole, the, the, the car. They check. They searched, and then they said, passport, passport, passport. I removed my own. The Malawian girl removed. That's when it was a tip off because they took Malawian own list passport, went to the car, make a call, come back and said, we are searching. For this one? No, for everyone, but they're still holding the passport. I was like, fuck. I just keep quiet. So you were, we were supposed to be holding, this is my suitcase, you open, you open. So they reached on me, I opened, there was nothing. The follow suitcase that was on, uh, under my own, it's the Malawian suitcase, that's when everything is inside. Then she opened. So you were even caught on your way from South Africa to... To Zim, to from Zim. Zim that side. I didn't even reach Zim. So they saw those books. Those books are storybooks big like this. We cut them in the center 
we put, we threw them. So they open. They, they were like, ah, so you are carrying books. She was like, yes. She was the, the, the one colored officer was like, you enter South Africa day before yesterday from Malawi. Now we are going. Say yes, I want to go to Zimbabwe to see my grandma. I saw that this is a tip of. I just keep quiet. One and one dark guy was like, open this book. They said the book is dark, is glued. Then they remove the ochre. They can't. They find cocaine. They carry my. So when they were finding it, they asked her, what is this? Because as we told the girl, like, we are going to fetch the market. So she doesn't know anything. She doesn't even know. Yeah, so that anything happens, she must not spy or. She was like, me, I don't know. Can you please ask August, your friend? They point me. The moment they're pointing me, the driver came and slapped me. Say, yo, you want my car to be taken? So the officer was like, don't beat this girl. She's under us. Then they collect all our bags. They put me in the van. So in my, on, my, on our way, wherever they were taking us, I just texted the guy like, I'm arrested. The guy was like, give the guys the phone. And that's it, they talk. I spent like two months. But I was not in the jail, jail prison. I was in the cell. Mm. While this is negotiating the money. The transactions. For me to come out in that camp. And I was having money. I was having something like 12,000 rand with me. So when they were arresting me with my, because they put us inside with my bags. So I was forging money in my sneakers and my things so that they won't see. You understand? So yeah, I enter on 18 November 2021. I came out on 25 December 2021. Mm. That's why South Africans are always complaining about Nigerians, eh? Me, I'm not complaining about Nigerians. No, I'm not. You are not South African. Are you South African? I'm not. Okay. I came to South Africa to hustle. I came to South Africa to look for money. Mm -hmm. Anything that you bring Brings to the money. table, you are in. I'm in. Because this world is very wicked. You can be saying, no, 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 but someone is doing Going. shit behind your back and that thing is hunting you. So you are ready for anything, anytime. I'm really ready for anything. Even now? Even now. Give me something. <laughs> mm. Nigerians are good guys. Foreigners are good guys. Anyway, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. I love Nigerians. Since I, 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 I stopped, since I broke up with my baby daddy, I told myself I'm not going to date a Zimbabwean or South African. My friends, they know that. Any place that is a come and chill, come and have fun, they are South African or Zimbabweans. I don't go. Mm, you're always with Nigerians. I don't want stress. Nigerians, Ghana, Congo, other foreigners I did not mention, they take care, they take good care of us. Mm. I don't know because of they are scared or they are brought, they brought them like, they groom them like a woman comes first in anything. You know my brothers, I know them. They will start... They will buy you one bottle of beer like this, you are their wife. Any guy come and take, talk to you, it's a problem, it's a fight. So I don't like that thing. I need a good life for me. Me, I'm a gold digger, I'm hunting, I need money. You're a gold digger? I'm telling you. But not for my husband, for my boyfriend to be. I love my boyfriend, poverty, rich, anything, I love him. My boyfriend understands that you're a gold digger. My boyfriend knows that my girlfriend can go for anything as long as it's money. I don't like poverty. I don't like to but beg. But what does your boyfriend does? One thing, uh, it's a, it's a <laughs> different story. <laughs> One thing about me, I don't know how to say, please, can I have? I feel like I'm low. I want to hunt and look for what I want. That's me. You know my... what, but I just want to ask this question. Don't get offended, boyfriend. Uh, don't you think your boyfriend is using you because he wants you to just bring money home? I've never bring money in my boyfriend's place and say, baby, I've got this money, let's do this, let's do that. I've never. But I've you said never. your boyfriend just want you to do anything that brings money. No, like, I said me. I'm, you, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, me and my boyfriend knows that my... Me and if I call my boyfriend now and tell him I need this, he will tell me like... He always tell me like, hey, please tell me, not now now, but tell me three or two days before so that I'll know that I'll put you on my schedule of this. But he gave me. You understand? But I'm not that naked girlfriend that whereby I'm like, I need this money now. I need this now now. I call him when I want. Because me now my boyfriend, first of all, he knows what I'm doing. You understand? 
facial uh, beauty therapist? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when I don't have, I will tell him, it's like this man, things are not good. Help me with this. Be like, okay, I'll give you. No, I'll give you half of this because I don't have. He knows about my arrest. He knows that I'm in for anything. But there are some things that he doesn't want me to be in for. Like what? Uh, <laughs> there are some things that you, it can put you in problems, in trouble. Yeah. I see. As a man that you won't be proud of that your woman can be doing because of, they'll be like, oh, so you're a useless man that a woman can be going for that. I see. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is a conversation with, um, what's your name, Stella? Amanda. Amanda from Zimbabwe. And she's telling us a lot about um, her life. What she just said, I uh, heard a lot of South Africans complaining. One girl I had an interview with, she was complaining about Nigerians, and she's a friend. But this one is just saying Nigerians are the best. <laughs> so it's just the opposite way. <laughs> so <laughs> She was complaining. No, she said something on the platform, and then I think uh, later she called and was like, Nigerians are after me, you know. But now Nigerians will like you most because you're saying... Me know I love stuff. Nigerians. Nigerians are the best, and I can't wait to watch them tomorrow on football. Mm. Uh-huh. I love them. They take care of us. They are good. If yeah. you say us, what is us? Are like you women. Okay. You know my friends. They just take care of women. Women. Okay. They, they value women. I didn't say others they don't. They do in their own. But No, no, you are what? speaking from experience. Yes. So I understand your point. Yes. Even if they don't have, but they try. And you won't even, you'll find peace in them. If you say you, you are troubled by Nigerian, you are the trouble. Mm. You are the trouble. But don't you think this Nigerian guy put it into trouble by doing the, uh, the, the business stuff? But you see where I love them. He put me into trouble, but he circled them out for me to be out. Mm. If it was a coward, he was going to leave me. I'm supposed to be facing something like 15 years. Because I was carrying something that worth half a million rands. But he fixed it. At the end of the day, he paid for me and paid me. You understand? And then it, he said, you're not going back to this shit. If you're going to this shit, you're not traveling. So just, it's my choice if I just, still want to continue or not. That's your problem. Just bring the girls, let's do this thing. I said. <laughs> Welcome on the show. Okay, so now, uh, this was just a conversation with uh, my sister here. And um, she told us a lot about um, her life in Johannesburg in, in South Africa to be precise and what she went through with other nationalities and she is confirmed that I love Nigerians that she want to even uh, so if the Nigerian want to marry today is fine eh? it's very fine I, I will be very I'll be the happiest woman ever <laughs> <laughs> I see I see all right so what, what are your last words what do you want to say I would just want to advise, advise to the ladies yeah, out there. I would just want to advise women outside here. Whatever you are doing, you must take care of yourself. Be careful. Because uh, this world is very wicked. People, they are not scared of doing anything these days. And even us women, we are not scared of doing anything for money, but we are risking. So my advice is to take care of ourselves and be wise. Yeah, I don't blame her because um, Eve was the first person to see the, ser the serpent in the Eden. Eve went to the Eden and she came with the apple to Adam. So ladies are known for risk taking. <laughs> you understand? So are you a Christian? I'm a Christian. Okay. And I believe in ancestors again. Ah. Yes. You are a Christian and you believe in ancestors mm -hmm, again. Mm -hmm. What kind of religion is that? I don't know what kind of religion is that. You but created your own religion. I didn't create, but I believe. I believe in God. And I do Christian. If you say, I, if I, you say, listen, listen. Again. If you say God, you've said nothing. No, I'm a Christian. I was raised in a Christian way, but... But what I'm saying, if you say God, you've said nothing. Why? This can be my God. So if you say God, you've said nothing. 
I mean, I'm a Christian, mm -hmm. but I'm going to check myself in traditional ways with the dead people, communication with the dead people. I want them to guide me. I want them to tell me, yes, I communicate with God. You, you, have, you have a different religion. I don't even know how to. <laughs> how can a Christian go to, co uh, to communicate with the dead? With the, with the dead? Ah, no, I'm a Christian, but I know that I'm a Christian, but there are some of the things that they need to be consulted through our grand grand. But that you cannot consult with the, uh, with with the Holy Spirit. No, no. I can't. With the Holy Spirit, you I can't. can't. Ah, you are not a Christian. I am, but I can't. Just say you are a traditional woman. Okay, I'm a traditional yeah, woman, but you believe in God too. Yeah, just say that and be free. <laughs> Don't add Christianity. <laughs> I will, why? No, Christianity has nothing to do with tradition. Ah, this Christianity is, only believes in We need to be cleansed. I cannot be cleansed by a Bible. You and a be, pastor. And a pastor. Who write the script? Who write the Bible? No, no. You cannot be cleansed with the Holy Spirit. Ah, uh, what? Uh, to put your hand in my head and I'm, I'm cleansed. No, no, no. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. You cannot be cleansed by the Holy Spirit. No, I can't. You are not a Christian. Just I say, am a Christian, but I can't. Let's say you are a traditional woman. Kiss close. I'm a traditional woman who believes in God too. And I said, if you say God, you've said nothing. Because there are some governments who worship God, right? Every human being worship God. God. So I have my own God. You have your own God. I can say this is my God. I'm not worshipping mm -hmm. the... Don't the say idols. But I go and check myself with, and talk and have conversation with the dead people. I think this one is a different topic because what this lady is saying is just uh, misinterpreting, misinterpreting the, the, the word of God. Okay. Because you cannot say you are a Christian <laughs> and you worship through the ancestors. <laughs> what kind of Christianity is that? Eh? I've never heard of this before. Okay, it's fine then. I'm a tradition. Uh, uh, I mean, what you say? I'm a it's fine. Christian. Just accept you are a Sangoma. Case close. I'm not a Sangoma. Well, what? No. I believe in God and ancestors, that's it. I'm not a Sangoma, I've never been a Sangoma, but I go for my own checkup, consultation. So, so what do you pray through? I pray to God. What do you pray through? I pray through God. You pray through God? Mm. Hi. Because <laughs> Christians pray through Jesus Christ. Where is God and Jesus, are they different? That is another question for another day. Because Muslims believe Jesus is just a messenger. And Jewish believe Jesus is their brother. And you are saying you are God what is, is my is God. Same. So you see, there's a different types of God. That's why I said this can be my God. Now I get a point. I hear you. So you need to be specific on what you worship. I worship God. You must know. If you know what you worship, it's very good and it is very effective. I worship God. But okay. at the same time, I'm going for dead people. You're going for dead people? Like, to be consulted by my ancestors. This lady is just a traditional woman. I'm a traditional woman. Because there are some dreams that I can dream. They, they, my, my, my dead people are showing me ways. Case close. You're like a traditional now, woman. Like now, when I'm dreaming, a dog is biting me. Mm -hmm. Those are cops. They're coming to arrest me. I must be careful. They are showing me. You understand? When I'm dreaming in a party, eating meat, it's a funeral. Mm -hmm. They're so, showing me. Sometimes, God's way take 50 years, but traditional ways take five days. Listen, what I always tell people is, um, don't go f after things you are not ready for. So you're telling me that for me to go to traditional way, I'm not ready for If you are ready for traditional ways, and you feel what you feel, you dream what you dream, enjoy it. You understand? I, mean, I believe... My, 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 my ancestors are showing me danger. Listen. And I must just enjoy and keep quiet while the danger is coming. Listen. If for me, for instance... Are you not a black person? Listen, for me, for instance. Are you not an African person? Listen, I want to, I just want to, I just. So why no, are you not believing in those things? Listen, because us as I want, African. I want to be specific in what you are talking about, okay? And then what I want to know. Let me tell you what I know. All right? I believe in ancestors. And mm -hmm. I believe in my mother and my father. They are dead mm -hmm. as I speak. Mm -hmm. Before I drink, I pour them down. down. Mm. I do it. Mm. 
You understand? I go to their, uh, to their grave to pray. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you, you must know what you are worshipping. So what are you Don't worshiping? Don't mix it. What are you worshiping? You're Listen. worshiping your mom and your dad. No, no. So I what just, are you I just go to do conversation with them. And I believe they, they hear what I'm saying. That's what I'm doing. But don't... I don't listen. You said you worship... Uh, you were a Christian and you were also a traditional man. Yes. Like, I believe in what, God. Where is it written in the Bible? I'm not talking about the Bible. Who write the Bible? So this is the question who, now. Who write the Bible? So this is the question now. So now the question is... Are you a Christian Bible believer or are you a Christian? Uh, I'm a Christian tra traditional believer. <laughs> <laughs> you are not a Christian. Case close. <laughs> just, just face the fact. When I, what are you? <laughs> Me? Uh huh. I am a Christian. But you believe you go and talk to your your your, your, your parents. No, the, the 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 mistake people make, okay, is they think Christians must dress somehow. Do you know that Christians are the wicked one? Listen to they me. They hide it through the They are very dangerous. Day. Very dangerous. Listen. I will say this on my platform. And I know people know what I'm going to say. Me and the pastors, we are like this. Mm -hmm. Enemies. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, I believe Jesus Christ. I believe Christianity. I believe whatever. But I believe those things in me not in anybody mm -hmm. i don't need somebody to teach me who is god yes that is me what if those people that they write the bible they were writing in they are on the way i'm thinking me like this there are a lot of bible verses that can say that says if your child is misbehaving you must take your child to the public venue for them to stone your child mm -hmm. That is, I don't give a, I don't care about that one. I take the good ones. The good ones is take care of the poor, mm -hmm. the needy, the widow, the orphans. I took those, I take those ones. But I don't take the bad ones. I don't pay tight. I pay tight to those ones. Needy, poor, orphans, widow. That's where my money goes to. You understand? So I am a Christian in me. Not a Christian in somebody. Those are the people that the pastor will just tell them, ah, I saw your mother is going to die. Oh, I saw this, da, 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 you know? Then they follow this kind of nonsense. I don't do that. And those pastors, they call themselves what? Christians. They are criminals. No, listen. That's why Every... I mean, I want when a pastor is telling me that this, 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 I'm going to consult with my people down there. Listen, every pastor, as I speak to you now, if... He's going to take me to court or he's going to go angry. I don't care. He's a Sangoma. Okay? <laughs> Every pastor, pastor and Sangoma, they are not, they are not different. No, no, no. Every pastor. They, the only difference is they have the collar. Okay? And they have the suit. They are Sangomans. Apart from being Sangomans, they are criminals. Apart from being criminals, they are businessmen. Apart from being businessmen, they have something they worship in their closet. Yes, this one I know that they are worshiping something. You understand? Mm. So, it's very dangerous for you to say, you see, when you said, ah, somebody to put my hands, you, you remember you said something like this. Mm -hmm. It's very dangerous. Don't even try. Don't even try. For somebody to put yeah, yeah, here. In your head. Don't try. They are all criminals. I know they will come under this post to fight, to talk. I don't, I don't care. They don't have nothing to prove. You know what is paracetamol, yes? They don't have paracetamol. Nothing. They only have power when you go to them. Mm. If you don't go to them, they, they don't, don't have, have power. power. <laughs> you understand? You. you understand? So, just be proud of what you believe and what you do. I'm very proud. Do it. I'm very proud. But the moment you mix. Because there was a time when my friends they used to tell me, yeah. Amanda, she loves Sangomas. Amanda, she, uh, she do juju, whatever. If I'm doing juju, why am I having money? Amanda, I can take my watch, okay? Why am I not having money for those things? Amanda. I'm going to Sangoma because I want to cleanse myself. I want to be can strong. Take, I, I can wanna... take my watch, okay? Mm -hmm. Put the Bible on my watch. Somebody will take them. Yes, and leave the Bible. I can take my watch, put it down, 
on the floor, put some red calabash, whatever, whatever, on the wall. Nobody would touch it. Yes. They are scared. I just give you an example. People worship based on physical, what they can touch, what they can see. But if you believe that what you're doing, talking to your sisters, is working for you, don't mix it. So what are you trying to advise me is I'm not supposed to mix traditional mix healer it. with the God. With don't God. mix it. I, no. no. When you say God, that is when I'm coming in. Do you know the God of Israel? <laughs> Do you know the God of Israel? You don't know the God of Israel. Do you know the God of Israel? Mm -hmm. So don't say God. Say my God. I just want you to be proud that you have a God. I have my God. So say my God. My God. So don't say. He's in heaven. You see? So don't say, you want me to mix my God with Sangoma. No. So, my God. If you say my God, then it's fine with Sangoma. But I go. Why? Because you know your God. <laughs> I told you that I know my God, but at the end of the day, I'm going to for consultation with the ancestors, the dead one, that they are with the God. Which God? Listen, 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 listen. When you come to religion, okay, I know much. Because I've done this kind of things for more than seven years. And I know what I'm saying. All right? Mm -hmm. If you say God, if I take this cup and cut the blood of a chicken in this cup, mm -hmm. put it or bury it under my house, worship it 24-7, this will be my God. I can talk to this God to come and kill you. He will come and do it. It's my God. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That is God. You understand? That's why he said, don't have any other God beside me. That was a command so to the So you are Israelis. telling me that I should not be busy consulting my ancestors because I have I'm not saying, God. listen, listen, listen. So the you traditional don't get way it. is don't not get good. Oh, so as then, a Christian. Then I must... Listen, as a Christian, you consult your traditional whatever to get to God. But as a Christian, we consult God through the Holy Spirit. I'm a Christian. I grew up in a Christian family. So you but at the end of the day, I this thing the, this thing that is happening in this world, okay. I need to be protected. So it's no you don't need protection. Listen. That is where you get it wrong. The moment you get the idea that you have an attack, it will happen to you. Never. So that's don't, why, don't that's get why, idea. Why, that's why I'm going. I'm going to be. I'm going to talk to my dead people. I'm going listen. to talk to my ancestors. I'm going to talk to my. Listen, listen. I am giving you um, an advice. So what's the advice? The advice is I should have the my advice. Only God. The advice. The Christianity way. If and you live say, listen, I use the word if. If you say you are a Christian, if. If you say you are a Christian, you are worshipping God through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Case closed. Mm -hmm. And then, if I'm a traditional... You are worshipping through the ancestors. Case closed. So what if I'm doing both? So what do you call yourself? God, ancestors, child. Have you seen a form? <laughs> filling a form. And then they say, which religion are you? And they say, you are God, ancestors, child. Have you seen a form like 89 that? 89 percent of black people we do that. We are Christian. No, no, listen. I'm, I'm speaking to you practically. Have you filled a form? Are you a Christian, Muslim, atheist? Or have you seen a, I'm a Christian, religious? I say others. But you explained it. In yes? that others, I'm explaining myself. Like, yes, I'm a Christian, but I believe in traditional healers. I don't have problem with traditional healers. Because they said in the Bible, okay, that use the leaves to heal yourself. Do you know that's... Some of us, we 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 having lucky, good things. Our things are going fine because of those traditional healers. That's the way. That's the You know why I say that? God will respond our prayers later. We are not patient enough to wait for those five years. Instead, we go for the faster way. I'll, I'll be praying 12 o'clock in the night every day. What, 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 what? But I'm not seeing anything. That thing forced us to go there. When I reached to my traditional healer, he would tell me that, no, your things are dark. You know why? Let me tell you. The reason it's happened this way is that, as a Christian, you see, I always use as or if. 
<laughs> as a Christian, it says, Seek ye the kingdom and eat righteousness first, and the rest shall be added unto you. Have you seek ye the kingdom and eat righteousness first? And you are looking for the rest. The answer is no. Okay? <laughs> it's I, taking long, Moose. Huh? It's taking long. That's no, the problem. No, no, no. Listen, listen. You, you, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I'm saying the Bible says to Christians, mm, okay. Seek ye the kingdom and eat righteousness first, and the rest shall be added unto you. Have you seek the kingdom and eat righteousness first? No. The answer is no. So for you, don't waste your time as a Christian. Go straight to Sengoma. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to be Christian, you must seek the kingdom and eat righteousness first before you can get the rest. Now you are looking for the rest as a Christian, but uh, if you don't seek the kingdom and it's not eat like, right. It's not like I'm, I'm looking for the rest, but the problem is when uh -huh. I'm going, uh -huh. I've been praying again. Uh -huh. I've been praying. Uh -huh. for and what is to happen? Things are still dark. Mm -hmm. I'm going for a consultation to the man, to the Sangoma. Okay. He's, when I reach there, she or he is telling me that my daughter, it's dark. You need to be cleansed. You need to be this, this, that, that, that. I say, Coco, okay, do me. When am I supposed to do it? Even now, I say, cool, wait. He or she do me that thing. Tomorrow morning, I'm seeing my life is shine bright like a diamond. Listen to what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. You are an African, okay? If you want to be a foreigner, okay? Forget about Sangoma. If you want to be an African, concentrate on Sangoma. Okay, this is African way. I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, me now continue so. So listen, because as a Christian, you cannot take a drug from South Africa to any country to sell and make money. Uh, so it's by who? Christian that again, which someone? When we are going. That's what I'm saying. There's no Christian in this world. There's nobody who is a Christian in this world. Nobody can live the lifestyle of Christ. You understand? Nobody on, in this world can live the lifestyle of Christ. And God is taking the good one and leave the bad one in hell. We are still burning here and we will burn. So listen. As a, as a traditional or as a African, do the African way. Yes, I am. And, and I'm if proud it's of working, what I'm doing. Me? So forget about Christianity. Concentrate. I'm doing, you know when last time, did I go to church? Uh-huh. Mm. Maybe five years back. Do you know what is church? Uh, do you know what is church? We are the church. We? Me, you, we are the church. It's in the Bible. See, your body is the temple of, of the God. Lord. Mm. I don't live in the mansion that the man has used his hand to build. So that place is just a meeting place. Yes. Whereby you are the be... church. Mm, I am. That's you why understand? I'm so forget Christian about the church. Because I grew up in a Christian family. And my family, they are... I know, I know there's going to be a lot of comment on the comment section, okay? But I just want to ask them. When the coronavirus came and we were all indoors... We we supposed to be indoors, quarantine. What happened? You've not seen your pastor. Mm. You've not seen your man of God. You've mm -hmm. not seen your papa, your mama. You've not paid your tithe, your deals. Okay. And then Jesus came when you were quarantined. Where will you go? As a Christian. They were kneeling down as family. And prayers one. That's what I'm saying. So we came back to the first love. You understand? The first love is where two or three people are gathered in my name i am there so we me and you we can gather here but in the name not in the name of god or in the name of jesus or whatever but we are gathered in the name of something we worship mm -hmm. he is not there <coughs> who is controlling that thing that we are worshiping what then? like when when you say maybe if we're worshiping this car mm -hmm. Who is in control? Who is giving this car the power? That is why I'm saying, if I am the one eh, who brought this up and said, this is the church of Ekonaba, okay? I'm the pastor. I can put my hand on you, fell down, whatever. This is the church of Ekonaba. I know what I do for this one. That makes it operate. So if I'm dead, you, you are dead. You need to find different person. Because I control through this one. And how do I control this through this one? Because I know how to enchant to bring this one on board. You understand? 
So now, you call me my papa. You call me spiritual father. Why are you calling me spiritual father, papa? Because I am having this at the back of me. And even in, I need anything to know about you, I will just consult this one. I will put my hand on you and say, in the name of Jesus, fall down. You will fall oh. down. <laughs> you understand? I'm speaking very deep here. Yeah. I can put my hand on you. I can say, ah, I know your name. You are from here. You are from your mother. Is this your father? Is this your age? Is this, is this, is this, is this. From here. Without this, there's no me. So you are worshipping me through this. This thing. Mm -hmm. So who's making this thing to have power? Because I, I made it work. How That's did, why I how told did you, you. Where did you get the power to make it work? I told you, even if I it's put this It's God. Thing, listen. There are a lot of gods. I told you. I've told you before. Maybe it's my ancestors that I'm talking about right now. You said I should, I should not put them with God. Listen, listen. If I die now, okay, my step, I mean, my grandchildren will call me ancestor, right? Mm -hmm. So automatically I become an ancestor, right? Mm. I'm saying if I take this cup and I pour blood in it and I call it uh, Zobo, Okay, I just name it Zobo. And I say, if I call Zobo, I want you to do this for me, Zobo. You understand? Mm. So I will keep pouring blood on it, calling Zobo. I don't know what is Zobo. Some spirit will come and represent Zobo. If, if you want to try, I don't care. That's your mm, problem. Mm, no, I can't try. <laughs> <laughs> that is your problem. So now, if I'm praying in tongues, I can say Zobo, 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 Zobo. I'm calling Zobo. Mm. Okay? <laughs> so Zobo will come. <laughs> and I tell Zobo to do what I want. And Zobo, will do, Zobo it. will do it. Have contract with Zobo. I what I'm saying now on this television, if you try it, you get problem. It's not my concern. I'm putting a, a, a disclaimer here. Mm. I am not practicing that. But I know. You know. Yeah, but I'm not practicing you have that. Yeah, tried it. No, but I'm I'm just telling you. How do you know Zobo? No, I'm just I just mentioned Zobo. Are you having your coins? No, no, no. I'm saying I just said Zobo. <laughs> I'm telling you, there are a lot of goals. You don't understand what I'm saying. I understand. I understand. I really. Do. You understand because if you say I'm calling. Because another is a, a time when if 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 I go to my sangoma. He give me or she give me something and I talk and I pray on it. You see? It's you say happened. something now. It's happened. You say something I now. Have, I, I believe when, I, when the person is giving me, I am already, I have already believed in that Listen, thing. Listen, you say something now. When I go to my addict, mm -hmm. no, no, addict, when you go to your... My sangoma. My sangoma, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that sangoma has a deity that she or he is He's worshiping. Mm -hmm. You don't know that one. I know. Why they have calling? They are worshiping those dead people that they are inside them. Have you been there when he's talking to that deity? I, I have never been, but when he, when that person is talking to me, it's not the person I'm... It's like you now. You're a Sangoma, eh? Mm -hmm. When you're talking to me now, mm -hmm. I'm not talking to you. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to the dead ones that they are inside you. That's why they can change their voices. Into, you are a man, but you can change your voices into a woman, an old granny woman. For me, what you're saying, because of my experience, I don't believe it. You know why? Why? You can come to me, I will say I'm a Sangoma. I can just cover at the back of me. It depends on what you are saying to me. Is listen. it true or no? No, no, listen. There are lots of things I can know about you. A that real is... Sangoma doesn't divert all these monies that they are demanding. Listen, a real I'm sangoma. not saying there's no Sangoma. You don't get what I'm saying. I'm not saying, but I'm saying this Sangoma is worshipping what he or she knows. Yes. You don't know. Yes, it, that person is worshipping those people. That they Who? are the ones that they are coming, the dead Who? ones. Are you? The uncle, the grandfather, the grandmother, the auntie. Uncle? Is that your uncle? It's from them. Is that your uncle? That's what they can see. Okay, so you, that is what the Bible says. You must know God for yourself. If you know God for yourself, you don't need me. You don't need the Sangoma. You can do your own sangoma in your own house. I can't be a sangoma myself. I'm not saying being a sangoma, in but I'm own saying. House. How am I going to tell? Because those people, they must go to Entoas, they call it Entoas. 
That's when some of them. I'm not telling anybody to be Sangoma. Listen, I'm not, I'm not telling anybody to be Sangoma or whatever. I'm, we are just having a I mean, conversation. I'm just saying, if you guys are believing in Sangoma ways, keep on doing it as long as it's giving you good things, it's bringing you joy and lucky. Yes, for me, when I'm doing the Sangoma, things are opening. Because I as I speak wait, to you now, no. okay, wait. I believe in God. I kneel down each and every day. You believe in your God. Okay, I, I just wanted to, I want, I want to use that <laughs> word. You don't get me. Use I, your word. I believe your word. in my God. But the thing is, mm -hmm. my God is not going to provide me. What well, It's not going to provide everything I want at the same time. But when I'm going for a consult session to my own Sangoma, his or she is giving me the things that I want to hear and he's doing it well so if your son is not listening to your advice what do you do My, it depends on which advice and if your son is not listening to your advice like don't go to club please stay home and learn and then you keep on doing it i'll tell i'll beat him and i'm not gonna beat him anyway i'll tell him why are you doing this why are you not listening anyway he's gonna listen to me He's no, going. no, no, forget about it. Wait, wait, wait. You, my son, if I do you know where I'm going? Do you know where I'm going? No, no, no. Do you know where I'm going? No. You said the God in you, if you want this, he doesn't respond. So you want to see your son go, man. And that one is quick. That's what you said. So if your God in you is not responding to what you request, ask your God. What's up? I asked my God. And what did you say? My God is taking time to see if I'm patient enough for him to provide. And you don't have time. Me not that time I don't have. This so world now, is so wicked. Now, so now as I speak to Let you. Let me tell you something. Let me no, ask no, no, you something. No, no. So now okay, as I wait, speak to you. Wait, no, no, wait, wait. wait, wait. So now, now as I speak to you, you don't have a God. Just accept that one. Listen to me. You have a Sangoma. Case closed. I have God. But the problem is, okay, now, right now, I'm staying there. I need money to pay my to to sustain my problems, my what what. Should I tell my landlord that ah, I'm waiting for my God to provide? The problem you are having is without work, there's no money. You must work. These days, I'm working, but what if someone is wishing me to make my no my boss point. not to love me, my this this not to do this? Do the we right are thing. Africans. We do, believe. Do the right thing. What is the right thing? The right thing is you are employed at work. Uh -huh. Your boss says, do this, come this, close this time, do this, do this, do it. You are case close. Okay, I hear you. But I, people, if you are believing the in your you Sangoma, no, continue. Listen. Yeah, that's fine. You can continue. Listen. Your God, continue. If you believe listen. in a uh, Muslim, continue. Uh, it's in fine. It's fine. It's fine. Like him, he believe in the, uh, what is that name? Uh, I just mentioned it. I don't even know. <laughs> listen to him. Listen, listen. The moment you put it at the back of your mind that whatever you are going through is because of somebody, you are a failure. Whatever is happening to you, whatever is happening to you, you cause it. But I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a child of God. I serve God. No, listen. Forget about God. Let's talk I'm reality. I'm a servant of God. I'm a Christian. I just want you to be... No, I'm a you Christian. Know, you know, a lot of people are not responsible. You know why? Because they think whatever they are going through is caused by somebody. We've made the mistake. We will fix it. But it is. Nobody caused anything. It's me that I caused it. Yeah. So forget about uh, your God. Your, no, you cause it. Fix it. If you want money and you are not getting the money, you cause it. Fix it. It has nothing to do with any spirit. You cause it. Okay. As I sit here, if South African gave me, like, let's say, one month to live in South Africa, after one month, I have to leave. If I'm not leaving, I'm a, I'm a criminal. And I stay in South Africa to be criminal. No, crim no, no spirit cause it. I cause it. Mm -hmm. If I'm not having money, I cause it. If I have money, I cause it. Because of that mentality I have, I am responsible. And everything I do is succeed because I know I cause it. But once you put the blame on somebody, it's a you problem. will never succeed. Don't say, yeah, my mother was not working hard. My father was not working hard. No, 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 no. I'm the cause. You are the cause. Fix it. 
You so. understand? So when you fix it and it's not working, then you can consult and say, I'm, I'm trying this. Yeah, you know? what, if, what if I fixed it and it was not working? That's what when if? I started you consulting. You see? Then I found the answer, the word. Then you, I keep on... You see? You use the English word, if. What if I consult? You see? I know where you're coming from. Because for me, just, just to be like, I was a Christian and I'm a Christian, but... I ended up being in a Sangoma place. It's because of I've tried, I've prayed to God, but something did not happen. Then when I went that side, things started Christianity, being... Christianity, you got it wrong. That's why you moved to Sangoma. Because Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is a lifestyle. Mm. I'm learning. It's a lifestyle. That is why you moved to Sangoma. You understand? No Christian would drink and be like, hey, thank you. Can you enjoy my drink? <laughs> you are afraid. Maybe it's poison. Maybe, you know, it doesn't want TV to give you. But if you go to the street, somebody can smoke. The guy take it. Lifestyle. So Christianity is a lifestyle. It's not a religion. You must practice what the Christ preach. Mm. You understand? So if you are a Christian in a Christian whatever, I mean a church, and you are suffering, move from there. You know why? Because there are rich people in that church. Mm -hmm. That the pastor can, is a criminal, the pastor is a criminal. That can use a criminality to talk to that rich man, that God spoke to me to help this poor guy. This rich man will do it because the pastor said it. They are criminals anyways. But you can use that influence to help the poor, to help the needy, to help the orphan, to help even the lady who is looking for work. I understand. So Christianity is not a religion. It's a lifestyle. That's why when they went to Antioch, immediately they go to Antioch, nobody said, ah, said, ah this life depends that of Christ. Their lifestyle. Christianity is a lifestyle. I hope you get my point. I understand you. So Christianity is a lifestyle. So when you go to a Sangoma, the Sangoma wants you to see his or her lifestyle. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you understand? Mm. So whenever Sangoma tells you, he or she wants it to be fulfilled. Because he wants to see the lifestyle. Reality. So how, how do Sangoma know what we're going through in our family and everything? They are Sangomas. You went there, okay? You believed in them. You said it. That you believe yes. whatever. Yeah. Yes. And the Bible said, whatever you believe shall come upon you. That's what the Bible says. For, for me, I don't believe in anything. So nothing comes on me. I, don't, I believe in okay. myself. <laughs> you, we will discuss more about this uh, religion thing. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. when you get to religion, I'm the master. I know okay. more. You understand? I know more and I, I can tell you a lot of things about religion and I can make you feel too good in your own self. Mm. Because you are the you. You are the God. You are God. So you can God. believe in me? You are God. You are God. You brought us to earth. Yes, women, we are God. You are God. You guys, you must worship women. So sometimes I feel so sad when I see women going through a lot through pastors, through some women. You are God. But you men, you don't respect us the way we want. Don't say you men. Some ah. men. We, you say we are God. Those people yes. that they are going through a lot, I know that those men that they are doing them to feel the I'm way I'm telling this on a record. This on a podcast show and this on a live program, okay? Mm. My wife is my God. The moment she gets angry with me, everything goes down. She's my God. Mm. So she must always be happy. She's the God. I don't worship her, but she's my God. Whatever mm. she will say, it will happen. Mm. I've given her that authority. She's my God. You are God. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> you understand? It's like, I see you, I say, yeah. Babe, what do you need? Ah, I'm sad. I need money to buy food. I don't have money to buy food. I say, hey, hey, can you take this? Hi, my friend. Thank you. You are my God. You saved me. God is not somewhere. You are the God. I'm the God. I understand. 
you men, you must treat us like God. We are your God. You are you, God. If it's not us, you're not supposed to be in this earth. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. You are God. Even you guys, if it's not you, how am I going to make you? Because you are the one who's bringing the... That's what I'm saying. You are God. I'm Keep just close. carrying you. So I just want to uh, make these uh, women out there, okay? To appreciate themselves. And also know that they control. When they say yes, it's yes. When they say no, it's no. They shouldn't be low and then for the guys to be much more treating them, you know, using them, you know, it's not nice. Yeah. So from now, you are God. You must control the God in you. Okay. And then make good uh, things out of your God, okay? Mm -hmm. And believe in yourself. I am. Whatever happens today, you cause it. I'm really proud of myself. Don't ever say this one caused my problem. You cause it. Fix it. I will. <laughs> okay anyway guys thank you for watching my show this was just an, a nice conversation with my my sister from another mother mm -hmm. and then we have a good chat out here uh, if you want to have a chat with me on my channel uh, you can contact me my numbers are always on the on the screen and then come to the studio let's have a chat one on one you have anything to say no i just did i just told them ladies they must be careful outside here it's dangerous outside, eh? Too much. All right. Thank you for watching. My name is Ekwanaba. Bye. Hello, Ebusian Four. So, we'll pass the features right here, Dr. Ford. And then, I'll find what I'm with unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening, I will toothpaste from Kwa. So, what did you choose? And I will see the air fitter. Now, air fitter, no, so no. No, a G and carbon beer, we're no more Any tea stains, coffee stains, smoking stains, beer, we're no more beer. Unique laser whitening product. Ebe yini yine free swama wa kama kama. Dia wu yane se. Ube chuso. Na u diye gu u brush na so. U wia na u diye chuchu u sine su yina. Kama. U wia. En u uwe nu mjen uwe nu musa. Inti u contact Unique Laser Whitening. Ewa 079-99-792330. 079-99-792330. Unique laser whitening or say muni ses. Penny for se be blow your sense in your da, near Tupunu, Nani Paboni Fonti, and was so more bamboo here, Nani Papa Mudi, Pro Technologies, and I may come for my work, Anne Pro Technologies. We are specialized in both sales and installation of CCTV cameras. Yet on SI install CCTV cameras in the saw gun and now sub rotate now if you gun now pursue a CCTV camera installation. We need pro technologies and then saw us. We get CCTV camera installation, electric fence, automated gate, access control, video doorbell, and our intercom, and our satellite TV, home theater, so we pay biato and our to and our person be installed. Pro technologies and our self fry and our shining so. Smart home, a bear from video be a person. She a wolf here, and now a tumor more than my wall. Only an insult. We are just a call away near Sansu Ada de Mahai, and now Fred Rochebe Dugana. Now open full house, room, and now apartments are high for short term and now long term. You be more beyond the border form. Now Bamba won't send you, man, you know, and now you're interior decoration. So as if you're in a way, and now you're still feeling a mound, you're signed decoration. You best yes, you'll be an officer at your man. And where you saw Tom Fidia be now who could have first installed it, and now the settings. Yebeye, Eddie Amal. Ewo Ghana, ube huye. Wemiro Fra Denta, Eddie Wediache Dodoa. Ube huye, ewo Ashi. Yene Emal Informacy. Ene wo the same building. For information, or WhatsApp. 401-7570-300. Ena plus 401-6992-254. Pro Technologies. We have the solutions for your security and home entertainment needs at affordable prices.